Good morning, Carlsbad. My name is Wendy. And my name is Reese, and we have a great show planned for you today. To start it off, we have a story on an artist here in Carlsbad. Tosh Carr brings us his piece. Grace Britton, a student here at CHS, has been creating art her whole life and has continued to learn along the way. I like doing art where I just grab a pen and I don't think about what I'm doing. I just start drawing and then I just like make a pattern or like I draw hair or a face or... With Grace's talent for her art, she still has encountered many struggles to get to where she is today. I had a hard time for a while trying to find my style, I guess, which I just feel like that's something that most artists go through. Um, also, I've had struggle with proportions. When looking towards the future, setting goals has kept Grace motivated throughout the years. For what I see for my future in art, or I guess my goals, is I definitely want to learn how to draw feet. That's a big one, and also landscapes. Talent takes time, and Grace believes that you can never rush improvement, and that sooner or later, results will show. Just like keep on drawing, because people are always like, Grace, like, you're so good at art. Like, not to hype myself up or anything, but I was like, how did you get so good? And I'm like, I don't know, I've just been drawing my whole life. Grace has shown that hard work and perseverance really does do wonders, and setting goals for her future has been a vital part in keeping your passion strong. Reporting for CHS TV, I'm Tosh Carr. Thank you, Tosh. The California Scholarship Federation application window is extended to this Friday, April 16th at 3 p.m. Please see the National Honor Society pages of the CHS website to submit your application. If you're interested in joining a career in the military, virtual visits will be taking place April 26th through 30th at 2 p.m. See School Loop for more details. Registration now opens for the CHS ASVAB and will be taking place on April 21st from 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. The test is an aptitude test to help students identify their strengths. See School Loop for the flyer to sign up. Now we have JJ on our virtual light craft set with Aaron Harris to give an update on the final CHS football game of the season. JJ? What is up, Carlsbad? My name is JJ Mieser. I'm standing here with Aaron Harris, the punter for the Carlsbad Lancers. So, Aaron, I know a lot of people have been really looking forward to this year, um, but yeah. they haven't really gotten to go to any of the football games. Yeah, right. So, um, tell me just a recap, because you guys have had an amazing season. So, what's going on this season? Yeah, right. So, we're Avocado West champions. Uh, we're undefeated. We've won every game by, you know, big margins. We're playing really great ball, and we're ready to ball out tomorrow against Granite Hills. So talking about Granite Hills tomorrow, tell me what the matchup for that is looking like. Yeah, so they're Grossmont Hills uh, League champions. We're league champions. They're undefeated. We're undefeated. Uh, they're fourth in San Diego County. We're currently ranked second. So, you know, it should be a really great matchup. It should be a fun game. And, you know, especially us seniors, it's our last game. We're looking to go out there and just have a fun time. Yeah, so sadly not everyone from Carlsbad can go and see that game. Right. If you get the opportunity, please go out and support the Lancers or just support them in spirits. If you know a football player, Send them a Snapchat and tell them, you know, yeah, good right. luck on the game tomorrow. Snapchat. Yeah. So uh, what's your guys' talent looking like for tomorrow? You guys got a good lineup out here. Yeah, you know, we have a ton of talent, especially with the seniors. One of the big themes of the season has just been about the players and coaches, about us having a season. Uh, you know, we have tons of seniors. Maslow Norwood has been playing great ball. Some great linemen. Aiden Sane, best quarterback in San Diego. Uh, a lot of respect for that guy. He's been leading the team really well. We just have a ton of talent. We're ready to go out, especially seniors. Just have a fun time tomorrow. It should be a really fun game. Uh, just kind of enjoy being out there with the brothers. Yeah, well, thank you for coming on. Yep. Good luck tomorrow with your kicking. I hope you. you can get some points on the board for us yeah. Lancers. Now I'm going to send it back to the desk. Thank you, JJ. All sports, including the football game this Friday and sports in the new gym, will now be live streamed. The link can be found on chstv.com. To get an overview of local community colleges in San Diego, see the flyer on School Loop for signups. You can now address, access graduation banners on the Lancer web store. For more information, see the flyer on School Loop. Sessions for summer school are now available for pre-registration. See School Loop for the link to sign up. Next up, we have Nico live on the Magic Window to give an update on COVID-19. Nico? 
Thank you, Wendy, and good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Nico Arboy to bring you guys a little bit of a recap on Governor Gavin Newsom's statement that he made last Wednesday. Now, I spoke a little bit about this on Monday earlier this week. Governor Newsom's plan is to fully reopen public gatherings to 100% capacity as soon as this summer around June 15th. Now, this means reopening, uh, bringing back concerts, um, public sporting events, reopening movie theaters, and full capacity in our community centers which is a really big step moving forward considering that California has pushed out 7 million more vaccines than any other state in the country, uh, which is a big step going into our summer. And as you can see, sorry about that. As, as you can see, uh, these past few months, our numbers have only been going down after we had that spike in December. The vaccine has been going out crazy. Everybody's been getting it. It's just been really good news going forward. And that's all I have for you today, Carlsbad. I'm going to spend it back to the anchors of the desk. Thank you, Nico. The Lancer Athletics Apparel Shop is now open online. Anyone interested in supporting our Lancers in style can now access the Lancer Athletics Shop. A portion of the money supports the CHS Athletics, so make sure to check out School Loop for the link. As of a week and a half ago, San Diego has moved into the orange tier. Next up, we have Natalia live via DeGero to talk about the changes that are being made with COVID restrictions in San Diego County. Natalia? Hey Carlsbad, I'm Natalia Avalos here in the village to talk to you about San Diego County moving into the orange tier and what it means for businesses and local residents. So since we are currently in the orange tier, this allows restaurants to open up to 50% capacity with indoor seating, 25% for gyms, 50% for movie theaters, and there's no capacity limits for retail stores. And if we keep going at the rate we're going, Governor Gavin Newsom has said that California can reopen its economy by June 15th. So make sure you guys stay safe, and now I'm sending it back to the desk. Thank you, Natalia, for the update. So, Reese, how'd you feel after your first time anchoring? Um, I was definitely a little nervous at first, but I think overall it was a pretty good show. And yeah. That's awesome. I can't wait to see you anchor again in the future. Thank you, Carlsbad. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching our live broadcast today. Remember that you can follow us on social media and watch any of our live replays at chstv.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.